What's up everyone? I'm Gabe. Welcome to Laser News Center. Let's get started. This week's quote of the week is laughter is the language of the soul, said by Pablo Nureta. And today's word of the day is ambivalent, meaning feeling two ways at the same time or unsure. Used in a sentence, she was ambivalent about whether to attend college or to travel. Don't forget to order your homecoming shirt. They are going to be available for pre-order this week, Tuesday through Friday for $12. You can turn in your order form during lunch or seminar in room 302. You will pick up your shirts on Thursday, October 3rd. Natural Helpers will be hosting their second meeting in the lecture hall after announcements. If anyone would like to be a part of Natural Helpers that was unable to attend the first meeting, you are still able to come today. Please send your e-hall pass to Ms. Jackson. Seniors, if you took your photo with Strawbridge over the summer, please make sure to log into your account and select the photo you want to appear in the yearbook by Friday. If you missed the summer dates, mark your calendar for November 14th. This is the only makeup day for senior photos. Please, any direct questions to Ms. Ross in room 316. Now to a spot showcasing our new teachers. So why did you choose a teaching career? Uh, because I had some excellent teachers throughout my career as, or as a, throughout my life and my mom has been a teacher for 30 years. Um, I've always wanted to be a teacher. My grandma was a teacher and I used to love going in and helping her after school and helping her decorate her classroom. Um, I chose to be a teacher because I loved music, first of all, and I had some really influential music teachers. And so I wanted to share my love of music with others because I think it can really benefit kids. What do you want to achieve with your students this year? Um, I just want to build good relationships with them and help them in all of their classes and all of their studies. Uh, with science, luckily, we have a, it's a pretty fun subject to teach, so I do my best to just get them engaged as much as possible and enjoy learning instead of just being forced to sit through lectures in a classroom. I would hope that they would gain an appreciation for music and also skills with music as well. Um, what's your favorite kind of student? Um, I'd say the fa my favorite kind of student is the student that reminds me a lot of me, which was the person that I was always trying but was not really good at, you know, whatever it was, so. Favorite type of student is someone that is eager to learn on a daily basis. My favorite type of student is a student who is respectful and hardworking and it doesn't really matter what kind of grades they get as long as they're willing to work hard um, and be kind to myself and their peers. Uh, one who puts in the effort and um, shows up, does the right thing, but also knows how to have fun and uh, just work hard at what we're doing together as a team, a team player. Um, I want my students to know that I'm their number one fan and I'm here to help them um, with anything that they need help with, whether that's in the classroom or with friends or sports or anything like that. I coach cross country here and I'm the middle school track coach. I forget stuff a lot, so really just me trying to do a lesson and completely forget what I was talking about happens often. Welcome to the Blazer Sports Desk. I'm Dylan bringing your sports results and updates. Let's get started. Last night, the sophomore girls volleyball team played Lawrence Free State for the second time this season. The girls both lost both sets 19 to 25 and 16 to 25. On the bright side, Michaela Consum had three kills and Riley Proctor had three aces. The second match was against Shawnee Mission South. The girls won both sets 25 to 16 and 25 to 20. Lilla Clark had seven digs and Gracie Sirius had three aces. The girls' record is now 7-4. Jaden Andrews shot her best game yesterday on a very tough, hilly Quivira Country Club golf course. She shot an outstanding 60, which earned her a second place in the tournament and her first hardware. Last night, the freshman B volleyball team completed in a duel at home against Blue Valley West. The Blazers took home a win in two, in two sets, improving their overall record to 9-1. The Blazers are back in action on Monday at 5 p.m. Come watch and support these ladies play. Good luck to the teams playing at home today. Girls JV Volleyball and Varsity Volleyball, team, both teams playing at 5 today. For more information, go to our school website and click on the menu tab and click on the activities calendar. All, all boys participating in Powder Puff cheer. 
Please report to the Ox Gym following the announcements. That's all we have for sports. Let's send it back to the anchors. We're Gabe. Thanks, Dylan. Juniors and seniors, be sure to sign up for these upcoming college representative visits this week. Tuesday, we have Baker University, and Friday, we have Wichita State University. Are you interested in submitting your writing to the Tailblazer? Contact Ms. Heller in room 309 or join the Google Classroom at K3IAOU. All entries will be due at the end of January. Attention juniors, your next prom committee meeting will be this Thursday, September 29th, during seminar. If any junior was not able to attend the first meeting, but would still be a part of the planning prom, you will, are able to come. They will be voting on the theme for prom 2020. Attention sophomores and juniors, or sophomores and seniors, if you are interested in becoming a foreign exchange student for the next school year, there will be a rotary meeting on September 26th in the library during seminar. Looks like that's all we have for you today, Blazers. Students here now for to travel, have a trick shot Tuesday, and we will see you back here on Friday.